Hey, hi, hello you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. So today is an interesting weekend. Matt is actually gone for the weekend for a work trip. So I'm here, single mom it up with her. And it'll be a fun, fun time. We'll see what we get up to. I did a Pilates class this morning. I coached the two morning classes. And then I did a, I, there he is. <laughs> I did a Pilates class um, and now I'm, I'm home. This morning when I coached the 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. I drank my athletic greens, I'm still trying those out. Uh, so far I like them, but I, again, will keep you posted. Um, now I'm home, I have some bone broth in a mug, but I wanted to kind of show you. So the bone broth that I love drinking, I can't remember what it's called, but I get it from Thrive Market. I've also seen it at Whole Foods, but it comes seasoned and it's so good on its own. But if you don't like bone broth, like the taste of it, I have a hack for you. So I have this Trader Joe's one, I don't love the taste of it, but it's convenient because when I'm there in person, I can just pick one up. Um, so what I do is pour some in a cup. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make it a little like, soup, and this might be weird to some people, but I add a little coconut aminos and a little sriracha. But you can add like any herbs you want. You can add lemon juice, lime juice. Um, I've done turmeric and pepper before. Any seasonings, like there's so many. You can just treat it like a soup. So any toppings that you'd like in a soup. I just do a little coconut aminos and a little sriracha because I like it spicy, but, and then I think it tastes so much better and it's like a little cup of soup in the morning, which I don't think is weird because I love eating weird foods at all times of day. Like growing up, I used to not really like breakfast foods, but I would still eat breakfast. I would just have lunch, dinner items at breakfast. I don't know, I was a weird kid. Um, also, if you don't like the taste of aloe vera juice, because this has been popular recently, Add citrus to it, add lemon or lime, and I swear it helps the cut the taste completely. I just do like a, probably like a half cup of aloe vera juice, half a lime, half a lemon in there, either one. It makes it a lot more bearable. As far as athletic greens go, making these more bearable. These are all tips I've picked up. I will put, I like it on cold water, but not with ice. I know it's very specific, but when I have ice in there, the powder gets like caught on the ice. I don't like it as much. So what I do, because our personally our fridge water isn't that cold when it comes out. So at night, I'll just put a cup of water in my fridge. Then when I wake up, I'll add my athletic greens into it, mix it up either with shaking it in a shaker cup or frothing it with a frother. And then I add um, a drop of these D3 and K2 drops. Just one drop, mix it all up, and that's how I drink it. It's cold and it's really good, but there's no ice in it. So those are my tips for how to make things taste good. But I'm gonna make, I'm gonna have this bone broth right now, and I still need to shower and everything. I just came home, but I'm, I wanted like a little something. Okay, I've been working like all day <laughs> on my computer, but I just got an Amazon package and I wanted to show you. Let me set y'all up. God, this lighting in my kitchen is just horrendous. Okay, so. You guys know I had a gua sha, well I don't know if you knew. I don't know why I said that. If you didn't know, I had a gua sha where it would help with like lymphatic drainage, whatever. Basically like moving fluid from my chin area, which I've always had a little extra, I know, I know. No one else notices, but basically my gua sha, I have no idea what happened to it. I had a green like jade one, I don't know if it was real. It probably wasn't good from Amazon, but I have no idea where it went, and I don't know. I swear it used to be in my skincare thing. I don't know where it went. Whatever. So I ordered a new one, and I heard that a lot of people are liking these, like, stainless steel ones. I also don't know if this is real stainless steel, because it was, like, $9 on Amazon. I'll link this one down below, but I like this one because I want to start doing it in the shower when my face is wet, um, because I don't like putting oils on my face. It's not in my skincare routine that... I was given from my Houston acne specialist. So like, I don't wanna mess up my skin at all and risk like using an oil. So when my face is wet in the shower, I'll just do this. But when you have a glass like jade gua sha, it could drop and shatter in the shower. So these, this is steel or fake steel, whatever it is. It won't, it won't shatter, it's not supposed to. So it's really heavy, it feels like a little paperweight. It's good quality for 10, $9. Again, I'll link it, but um, I don't really have a great tutorial on it. 
I kind of just like look on YouTube and TikTok. So make sure you do that. You just look on like TikTok, but you want like a gentle pressure, like a 45 degree angle, moving everything down, opening your lymph nodes prior. There's some really good tutorials out there. I am not your girl for that. Um, but, and I don't do this every day. Obviously I haven't done it for like a month because I don't know where my mind went. But I'm hoping that me keeping it in the shower every day when I'm, I see it and my face is wet, I'll at least just do like a couple strokes. I want to get a mirror for in my shower. For multiple reasons. One, Matt shaved his head in the shower, so he has to bring a handheld mirror in there. So just be easier. And then also for gua sha in the shower, that would be easier just to see what I'm doing. <laughs> but if you have any good mirror recommendations for the shower, a lot of the Amazon reviews I was reading where people were saying the mirror fogs up. And the mirrors are supposed to be like anti-fog, but people say they still fog up. So if you have any good ones, let me know. All right, I need to show you guys our fridge right now because it's actually hilarious. Um, <laughs> the, at, the, at my F45 that I work at, we partner with MyFitFoods. Let me see, can you see? Yeah, see the little emblem up there? MyFitFoods, if you're in the Houston area, they're great. They do all these pre-made meals and you literally just pop them in the microwave for 90 seconds and they're ready. Um, they gifted me all these. Like, they gave everyone in our studio free samples. Um, but since I'm one of the trainers, they gave me, like, a ton of them. So all I've, we've been eating is these and then my Green Chef. I have one or two bags left of Green Chef. We made the Bear Mundi fish already. And then we have, oh, look how good these ones look. This, this video is not sponsored by them. I just genuinely love them. This Surf and Turf with sun-dried tomato butter. Wow. And then this cheesy artichoke beef patties. Yum. And with a lot of these, like, they say to add oil at a lot of points during it, which can make the calorie count, like, higher than it needs to be. So when it says, like, searing, like, these mushrooms or the shrimp or whatever in butter or in oil, I'll just do spray avocado oil instead so it cuts the calories a little bit. And I usually don't salt until the very end if I feel like it needs it. I don't salt as I go, which I know is a no-no for chefs, but, like, I'm trying to watch my sodium. Just be conscious of it. Um, and then like I'll make tweaks here and there like obviously the cheese I won't eat it, but Matt will eat it because of my skin. I've talked about this um, Yeah, but I love it. It's super simple and it gives us recipes that I would never cook like I would never make artichoke patties or Surf and turf. I've never made surf and turf actually and then the one I had earlier this Bermundi fish Never bought that in my life. Never would have either So yeah, this is not small but I'm probably gonna make one of these meals for dinner. Let's see what we have. This one's really good. It has b ground bison in it. It's marine core mash. It has ground, bar ground bison, brown rice, quinoa, broccoli. Um, just like a lot of good stuff in it. I'll probably have that. But if you guys are in Houston, check them out and then let them know that I sent you. That's what I'm gonna eat. And then Matt is at his conference. He left already. So I am just gonna have myself a night and relax. Cuddle with the bubs. <laughs> and that's basically maybe some carrots and hummus. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I get up to. If anything's noteworthy, I'll vlog. Oh, I'm thinking I'll probably catch up on the Kardashians. I know. I don't usually like that kind of like reality TV. I, I okay. I'm very particular with my reality TV. I love 90 Day Fiance. I love all the cooking shows like guy. Guys Grocery Games, Beat Bobby Flay, Diners, Drivings, and Dives um, on HGTV. I don't really watch anything. My main channels are TLC, Food Network, and then if Matt and I have nothing else to watch, we'll watch Ridiculousness on MTV because that's like always on. Um, but I like random. I don't watch like Housewives or anything. All my girlfriends do, so I feel like I need to actually get into that because I'm seeing them all in July. But um, I know like the basis of them. I've seen enough of them random episodes in college I would watch with them, but I don't know any of the new cast or new franchises or anything. But yeah, 90 Day Fiance, that's my shit. Um, Kardashians I'll watch, yeah. Let me know any other good reality shows that are along those lines that you think I'd like. Or is anyone else like that too, particular? Very particular about my reality TV. All right, you guys, it is Saturday now. And well, I messed up my nail at the gym today so that was fun but it's actually kind of late in the evening i have been cleaning all day 
I want to say like seven hours of cleaning. Let me show you what I did and it might not seem like a lot because I never really showed you guys this part, but all right. First off, this is clean. This was my side of the drawer. This is Matt's. These are all of his clean clothes that are mostly folded, not the top part. They're clean. He just needs to fold them when he gets home. My side, clean. All of this, I'm giving away. I added three new bags today of giveaway stuff. This whole alleyway was full of just boxes from like my Princess Polly haul, like random orders and like returns and stuff I had to do. Horrible. So the fact that I can walk here is crazy. But you guys, this is what I'm excited about. I organized all of my little, like my PR and samples and stuff that I felt like I never was using because it was so cluttered and I couldn't find a good way to store it. So we have all my sunglasses and like rings, earrings down here. Then these are like hair products versed random little travel size things. Then we have travel size stuff here, but this is more skincare, so like face wash, exfoliants, lotions. Then we have perfumes, um, supplements that I was sent. That's up, and then my necklaces, and then my little skin fridge. So that was huge. I got rid of a lot of stuff there. I'm gonna donate it to a local woman's shelter that I found, and I'm also donating a lot of the clothes to that as well. I'm gonna sell some on Poshmark. I know I've been saying that for a while when I get around to it, posting it. Um, but I also cleaned out the closet. So again, it might not look like it's that clean. And this is kind of still hectic, but it's organized chaos, which I didn't have before. And there is so much room on this top. It, it might not look like that, actually. But... I went through everything, like I said on my old vlogs, my recent vlogs, and I was like, I did the, the method. If I, I might think it's really cute, but if I haven't worn it, it's I'm gonna donate to someone who will wear it, okay? Or one of you guys on Poshmark. Um, so yeah, I threw away like four bags of trash, I have three bags of giveaway clothes. So I'm feeling really good right now. Oh, I also cleaned the kitchen. Scrubbed everything down, so that was great. Did the dishes, did laundry. It's just been a day, and time really got away from me. And now it is evening, and I'm going to walk home. For lunch, I made one of these My Fit Food meals. I made the bison one. This is the Marine Corps mash. Is the one that I have. Oh, and they also gave us these little peanut butter chocolate protein bites. I also had one of those. There's one left. And then I had one of these too. <laughs> 25 gram protein yogurt and then carrots and hummus. Snacking today because I just, boy, I don't feel like making a real meal. I mean, I guess the microwave meal was kind of a real meal, but I'm probably just gonna, I'm gonna walk home now. And then we're gonna just chill on the couch. I'll probably pour myself a glass of wine because I feel like I did a lot today. I coached two classes this morning. I didn't work out today, which was fine. Um, I just coached, came home, did all of that cleaning, and now it is six o'clock on a Saturday night. And I am, tonight I'm actually gonna watch the Kardashians. <laughs> Last night I didn't end up doing it. I honestly was just doing a ton of computer work on the couch which was nice. Oh, I ended up last night too, before the sunset, going on like a really long walk just by myself. Usually I walk with Herman, but he like stops and smells a lot. And he's a hard dog to walk with because, no offense, bud, it's hot here and his nose is flat and like he can't really breathe that well to begin with, but like put him in the humidity and he just really can't breathe. So I went on a walk, just I put one AirPod in, I had one AirPod out just for safety. But there are actually a lot of people out walking and running and stuff. I, I don't do that often, so I didn't know. And I just went around the park, which is very populated, and there's like a security guard there. Anyway, listening to a nice podcast, I listened to one of the Skinny Confidentials podcasts with, I forgot, some doctor with a PhD talking about hormonal health and eye health and all that. It was very interesting. And going on walks and 
low impact workouts and all that kind of thing. So that was also interesting. And I just felt good. I ended up walking for like 45 minutes at a good pace and I felt really good. So I came in and did that after. I did Pilates yesterday and that and then today I didn't do anything. But I'm gonna go on a walk now and then sit on the couch and just relax. Feels, it feels good. I feel very accomplished. And I also feel good because like Matt's gonna come home to a clean apartment, which I feel like it's just a nice gesture to do for your partner. Like he's gone on work and I don't know. I feel like it's just nice to come home to a clean home, you know? Okay, let's go on a walk. I'll say hi to the vlog. Hi. No gift. All right, you guys, before I take off all my makeup and show you my in-depth skincare routine for my acne and how I cleared my skin, which I'm gonna show you that in a second. I just wanted to show you this cute new phone case I got. Do you guys know on, um, like when you get an apple or any fruit and they have those little stickers on them? Look at it. It's fruit stickers on my phone case. Okay. If that is not on brand for me, I mean, I know, it, it's crazy, I'm obsessed with it. I got some new case by cases in the mail and I wanna show them to you. This is the first one. It has these little bumpers, the ultra impact cases. You can drop this up to 9.8 feet and it won't break. Oh my God, it literally just bounced all over. Oh, wait, look at my handsome man. But we're fine. Wait, look at it. No, no cracks. Model of a dog though. Other cases I got, I got two customizable ones which are so cute just with bc on them i love this leather it's like a pebbled looking brown leather i just feel like it's so classic like when you're taking the mirror pick got it black with it and then this fun one my phone is black so this will be black in the background ah, so cute they're both new impact and ultra impact cases and they're made with 65 percent recycled and plant-based material and they're also compatible with 5g and wireless charging which is huge because Matt and I have our chargers where you just sit them on top and they still charge through. Right here you can see there's a ton of different prints and designs. You can pick your favorite color of print. You can match to your phone, to your style. Literally they have like a whole section on French Bulldogs, which <laughs> was hard for me to pass up, but I did it. I stayed strong. Um, you can also add your name and monogram for a truly customizable case like I did. And they also feature an antimicrobial coating on them that keeps your phone germ-free and killing 99% of bacteria which is huge for me because I'm in the gym a lot and I just there's nothing grosser than touching your phone after a workout like I wash my hands but I just feel like mm, any help I can get there is appreciated so if you guys want to try out case defy cases or give them to a gift to someone you can go to case defy.com slash Blair Y to get 15% off of your order all right, I'll have all that information down below. Catch me in my upcoming mirror selfies on Insta. Fruit sticker galore. Now let's get to taking my skincare off. All right guys, I figured I am taking off or washing my face through my night routine and I put on a little like light BB cream earlier. What do you even call this? Let me show you. This Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I love this stuff. I get the color suede. I think natural is my better color for me, but they were sold out online when I ordered. But I, um, I had that on earlier when I was just coaching. It's not a lot, but it's just a nice little coverage. So I want to show you how I cleanse my face at night. And I've talked about this before, but I worked with the Houston Acne Specialist for my skincare routine, they completely changed my skin. So I'm just waiting for the water to get hot. And I wanted to kind of walk you through my routine with them. These products you can only get from their store, but I want to kind of explain what they are. So first I go in with this hydrating moisture cleanser. And I think a good dupe for this would be the um, CeraVe hydrating cleanser. Um, and I just double cleanse this, so I'll cleanse once to get my makeup off or any like residue off, sunscreen, and then I'll cleanse again to actually cleanse my skin. Then I ice my face with my ice roller for like five minutes. 
Then I go on this hydration toner. The first ingredient in this is witch hazel. So I think any like witch hazel would work. I know there's some good ones at the drugstore. I honestly put it on my hands and just pat it in my skin. Then I go in with quench, which is just a hyaluronic acid. So any hyaluronic acid would do. I know The Ordinary has a good one. Um, I happen to also have this peach and lily one, glass skin refining serum that uh, I've used before and I really like. And then only at night I go in with my vitamin A serum. So this is a retinol. I know a lot of people like tretinoin. I actually want to try tretinoin. My mom was able to get a prescription from her dermatologist. So this bottle is about halfway down. When I'm done with it, I'm going to try tretinoin out. I just do like a dime size of this. And I concentrate it where I break out. Then I go in with ac this acne clear medication. And this is a benzoyl peroxide 5% cream, basically. And I again focus this on my acne areas. So any benzoyl peroxide cream. And then I just go in with my moisturizer. This is just the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. I love this stuff. Um, I, this is the only product that I use that isn't like Houston Acne Specialist, but they approved this one. It's really good and I really like it. Uh, so that is my night routine, what I do, and I just kind of wanted to show you because it really helped my skin. In the mornings, my routine is very similar. I still do the cleanse only once, then I do ice, then I do my toner, hyaluronic acid, and then I go on what they call L-complex, but what is in this? Oh, mandelic acid, lactic acid, niacinamide. So I go in with this and I put it again on my problem areas. None of the none of my actives, so actives are this, my vitamin A, and my acne clear. I don't go near my eyes with them. Um, so then I'll put this in the morning instead of the retinol. And then I go on vitamin C. This is again so any vitamin C works. I've used this one before I've gotten from Thrive Market. Also really good. I know the ordinary has some good ones for very cheap. Then I go on with the salicylic acid cream. Just any salicylic it's a gel actually. Rub that on my chin area, which is my problem area. And then I do my acne clear again, problem areas. And then I just moisturize and sunscreen, okay? So that is my morning and night routine. I know I was getting some questions on how I saved my skin basically, because, well, I have makeup on right now, but it's literally just this gel tinted cream. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I just get the best glow from it. And if I ever have any really dry spots that like some areas are drier, I take a little thin amount of Aquaphor and I'll rub it just on that dry spot. And then I'll still put my products around it, but that Aquaphor spot kind of just acts as a little barrier to help not over dry it. And I just went to the facial girls this week. So they did a stronger peel on me this week. So. I think my chin's kind of peeling a little bit, but not bad. If I do add tanning drops, I just use these tan tanologist drops and I'll do like two or three drops into my moisturizer and then rub it on down my neck, behind my neck, my ears, up to my hairline. Wash my hands really well, then I take a towel and I kind of, since I'm blonde, I don't want my the tan to turn my hair orange. So I'll just like rub a wet towel really into my hairline and then on my eyebrows to make sure that it didn't get in there. Oh, at night, I just got this one actually. Uh, I got an eye cream that has retinol in it. So again, just really patting it, helping with fine lines and wrinkles. So any retinol eye cream, I think Verst, Verst has one. That's good, or I've seen. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So I'm gonna do that, but I wanted to share share my routine. All right, skincare is done. And we are officially now ready to go on the couch, pour a glass of wine. Whoa. Also in the podcast I was listening to yesterday on my walk. Let me find it for you guys so you can listen to it too. Skinny to Confidential. Oh, I've also been in love with the Giggly Squad podcast with Hannah Burner and Paige Zorbio from Summer House. They're so funny. I feel like I would just want to hang out with them. Oh, it's episode 457 of the Skinny Confidential. 
Andrew Huberman part one on mastering sleep, stress, anxiety, um, yeah, all that. He also talked about, he talked a lot about light and how much that affects us like in the morning versus at night and our sleep, circadian rhythms, all that, and it was so interesting. So I'm really trying to keep it dark in the apartment after like 8 p.m. He said, I can't remember exactly, but we have this little light that is a yellow soft light that I've been putting on um, even when it's like just dusk now because as it gets darker outside that light is just like a little nice glow and I'm trying not to have any like bright overhead lights it looks really light on my camera right now but it's really not that light in my in my apartment or glass of just a pot thick. I've had this bottle for a while <laughs> um, look at my nail you guys it got sliced today when I was putting weights away. This never happens. I've always had nails and been able to work out. Do you see how low it got cut? Oh, and it was like bleeding. I don't know if you can see. I hope you can. It was bleeding and not good. I took the bandit off when I was washing my face because that's gross. Uh, what else do I want to update you guys with? Oh, uh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, that was a big boy. <laughs> I don't want to get up though again. All right, let's get comfy and chat, shall we? Put you on my water bottle, that works. Okay, Her, come here. This takes this sweet ass time. Good boy. So we're just gonna be here all night. Crazy Saturday night over here. But um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you wouldn't know this, but we're, Matt and I are officially wedding planning, okay? It's only been a year and a half. <laughs> but um, I got my dress when my mom was here. And just, I'm obsessed with it. I'm so excited. Um, and then we are thinking Cabo for the wedding. So if any of you guys have ever had a wedding in Cabo or been a guest to a wedding in Cabo, please, please, please somehow message me, like DM me on Instagram or like get in contact with me, whatever is easiest for you or leave a comment down below. That's great too. Um, about your experience. And we're looking at all inclusive resorts just because we don't want this to be expensive for our guests like obviously the cape is like a gorgeous hotel and like i would love the aesthetic and all that but first off it's so expensive and then second off my guest i don't want to do that to my guests and i want to just have a fun time with my friends and family and matt's friends and family obviously and i think all inclusive is the way to go we're trying not to like blow it out of the budget so if you guys have ever had a wedding at we're thinking like sandos wait Sandos Finisterra, the Rio, like any of those kind of hotels. We want it to be kind of close to walking distance to downtown because we want to go out to the bars and all that also. Um, let me know, please, okay? And try not to spend an arm and a leg. We're thinking, yeah, just, I appreciate any and all good, bad, and ugly thoughts that you guys have because it's really stressful. My biggest thing is it's scary planning a wedding and signing a venue contract that like I've never been to before. And Matt and I have been to Cabo once before together and one of Matt's family friends, we went to, with his family's friend, wait, we went with Matt's friend's family back in like 2015, I think it was. I don't know, it was a while ago. But um, they know someone who has like a boat company there too. So we were thinking Cabo would be really cool because we could have like either a rehearsal dinner on the boat, on a boat, or also just like leading up to the week, having a catamaran, like go to the arch and all that um, with our friends. So I thought that could be really fun. So we're still trying to figure that out. We also might just have like our bachelor and bachelorette parties the week leading up to it. Instead of making our friends travel multiple times for us <laughs> we know that it's a lot and a lot of people don't want to just go to mexico for like two days i feel like a lot of people like to have vacation and make a vacation out of it so i'm like if everyone's gonna be there already 
Might as well have a bachelor and bachelorette party, right? Maybe? No. So we'll see. Um, that's the plan right now. Uh, but please, please, any and all recommendations that you have, I am all ears. So thank you. Cheers to wedding planning because it's very stressful. Hence why it took me a year and a half to start. Mm. All that I want is like a fun reception. I just want like a dance floor, good music, open bar, decent food. I just want my friends and family to have so much fun and I don't want it to be stressful. And I'm, one of my downfalls is that I am so laid back to the point where I just don't do any planning. And sometimes I wish I had a little more like type A in me for that regard. Um, I have type A in me when it comes to work. But when it comes to like my personal stuff, like I am very laid back. I'm a people pleaser to a fault. And I don't want, Matt and I both are the same. Like we don't want to make people feel uncomfortable, spend a lot of money. Um, we don't want people to feel pressured to even come to Cabo. Like we understand if that's uh, like not possible for you to take off work or financially, like we understand. Since we live in Houston now, Matt's family is from, his close family is from St. Louis. The rest of his family is all in Connecticut and the East Coast. My family is all Chicago. We have friends all over the country. So it's like wherever we were going to get married in the States, it would have been a destination anyway. Like people would have had to travel. So we just kind of want to make a little more of it. And I don't know. I've never been to a, I've never been to a wedding in abroad or Mexico anywhere. So I don't know. It's kind of ballsy just doing it without ever experiencing it or seeing the place. So please let me know any thoughts you have. <laughs> I'm working with like a few wedding planners trying to figure out who I want to work with, like destination wedding planners. That is my thoughts. All right, we're gonna watch Kardashians. I will check back in tomorrow when I have to coach in the morning and then Matt will be home and we'll see what we get up to. But spending a little weekend in my life, this this week weekend alone has been nice. Just a little break. Next week we have a wedding. Then the following week Matt is in St. Louis for a golf tournament. Then the following week we don't have anything. That's like the first week we don't have anything in so long. <laughs> I have book club. So actually I do have something. I take that back. <laughs> but I need to finish my book. We are reading. It's right over there. Oh, we're reading The Last Mrs. Parrish. I haven't started yet because some a fun fact about me is I forget everything, like everything. So I have to save my book until like a week before book club to start, which is risky, I understand. It's it's a lot, but I just forget things. Even if I mark pages or like write notes, I still forget things, like little details. Um, and my book club, it's just myself and two other girls. But we actually talk about the book. We talked about it for like two hours last week, last time. We read Verity the first time. And we literally talked about it for two hours. Um, and then we just like got on tangents and whatever, made food, got wine, it was so fun. Is anyone else like that? Like you ha you can't read something a month and a half out. Absolutely not. And these books are really good like tur page turners. So I don't wanna like spread it out because I wanna figure out what happens. So I just have to prolong the whole thing, which sometimes backfires on me because then it's that Friday night and I have to be a book club in two hours and I still have like four chapters left so I have to just speed read and do other things and it's backfired but it's what I gotta do you know what I gotta do so I'll probably start that next week because book club is the following week that was a lot of uh, rant for nothing but it was a good day you always feel accomplished when you clean <laughs> basic shit i know okay now i'm gonna watch the kardashians have a good night i'll see you tomorrow morning good morning it is the next morning sunday morning matt is on his way home i coach the morning class and i'm just last minute cleaning up everything because i want to make sure it's nice for when matt comes home because it's just like the best feeling after a trip to come home and your house and everything is like clean so, did that. I'm doing some computer work now. Oh, this box, you guys. I'm hoarding my trash again um, because I wanna do an empties video 
and review food that I've finished or like supplements or just different products. Do you guys like those videos? Is that helpful to you? Like an empties video, things I've used up, letting you know if I'd repurchase, recommend, etc. Let me know. But yeah, Matt should be home in like 20 minutes. I'm so excited. And it was only like a couple days. It was literally, he left Friday and <laughs> Sunday. But that's my best brain. I don't know, I'm excited to see what we do today. Since the apartment's clean, we don't have to do that. We have all those meal prepped meals, so we don't need to prep food. So we'll see. Hi, you guys. It's the next morning, Monday morning. And I did not vlog at all when Matt got home. I was so excited to see him. And we literally, like, what do we do? He got home. We took a nap because he was, like, exhausted. <laughs> so we napped. And then we just cooked the last of our Green Chef meals and went to bed. That was it. So... <laughs> Very uneventful, but I wanted to end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss another video and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye y'all.